Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It has been a remarkable first season in the studio for me. I want to thank you guys so much. As I said it over one final time for the second half call of Super Bowl 53 to Brandon and Charles in Atlanta. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The halftime show, quite a spectacle, but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. Uh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. Three trips to the end zone, how about that? I think right now... They would have to go to their general manager and say, so any And that's caught inside yeah. the 30. And a big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 51 yards. Defending a deep route, even when it's thrown on time, is very difficult. But when he's able to maneuver outside of the pocket, that's almost unfair. He's brought up to the top. His offensive line is protected. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Matt Longacre. Able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust to account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. You change the blocking schemes. Maybe you have max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. A uh, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. <laughs> Into the red zone, it's Breeze. And now running right through. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 11 more on that one, and another first down. <laughs> now Breeze. Struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. Breeze to throw on second down. Fine time to his left. And he scores! Touchdown, New Orleans! Drew Breeze, a six yard touchdown run. And the Saints are pouring it on. He keeps carrying the ball to the end zone, and this one is sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he has the football. Yeah. What a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, he's got him in the lead. <laughs> Looks good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. More stand the putter out to kick it off. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in action. Try and get things kick started for them. And you know in the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of How many plays do you script coming out of the most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they will, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. They go play action with Gurley. Now go. To the heavy rush and down he goes. To Mario Davis. In there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. So one quick easy analysis about why they struggled so far. 
They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. The offense is still in section tomorrow, maybe a little long. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Bob Bell. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Now, Breeze. A scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off the drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. Dancing to his left. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down the line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. To throw, it's Breeze. Steps it back. Check it. Score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Drew Breeze taking it in from a yard out. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. You know, in golf, they often talk about playing the course and not worrying about what the other players are doing what their scores are. That's essentially what we're seeing from this offense. They're just having fun and doing what they feel like doing today. Lutz to try to end the PAT. <laughs> Lutz with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Forced in the punter out to kick it off. This will be taken very short. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is... In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kim Crowley. Still staying on his feet. Are you yes. serious? And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the five. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he stepped the offense up nicely, but he's probably bad he didn't take that one to Bader. I agree with you. And you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at it. How'd you not score? Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. Now these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field right. position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I want to get right back out there and get out. And hit the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Drew Brees, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Great field position has to be one of the best friends that offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Lots of look to add the extra point. <laughs> Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Oh. 
Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This will be taken short. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And last time wasn't pretty. One play of the interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Keep the quarterbacks in confidence. See what happened. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, there was not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was cut also by the defense. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that. So at some point, they have to win a call of attack. Instead, it's the defense getting it done again and holding them to their game. And this is going to be incomplete. We're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Here's Ginn. He spins free. Oh, now he pulls him over. So dangerous with a football in his hands. Call that a return of 38. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. The last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those This is caught inside the 15. A big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 46 yards. Let's face it, it's tough to defend guys just in regular time. But when they get extra time, the guy maneuvers outside of the pocket. That, that's just almost unfair because now trying to stay with the receiver, very, very difficult to do. And a big play is off the Check it. Score! Touchdown, New Orleans! Drew Brees! He flat out can't be stopped. And the Saints just continue to roll. A quarterback is not supposed to be able to do this. He's not supposed to be able to take the ball and run like that and not get run down by the defense before scoring. Lots to try to add the PAT. Lutz with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Well, it wasn't a one-play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary, two plays and into the end zone. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This will be fielded at the six. <laughs> And on a bad return, here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. These guys had a punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base in, he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. You might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. That's part of his time in Gerald Everett. And he's able to get this one up to the 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that. Having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes drives can fool you. How about that play action there? That's probably the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. You know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage. But 
He's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They'll get three up to midfield. Offense actually plays an offense for their variety, being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they threw it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block, first and foremost. Yeah. Now we want to know how these guys can run. Because we envision them in offenses. You can catch the ball. How much yards can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Ten more there and another first down. A big hole there. How about a handle your point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. From the red zone now, gone, and it's incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. <laughs> Back to the air, gone on second down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The reception, good for 7. It's third down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better books they're going to get. They have to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he gets receiver hit and hit hard. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start, and then a nice tackle to finish things off. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. And I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the ball? Yeah, 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 I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone wants to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand, or a person who's just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to them. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Breeze now on first down. Being chased out now. And not escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Matt Longacre able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number. We can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Dylan Aaron, it's caught at the 10. Well by one more. More stand the punter out to kick it off. This will be fielded at the six. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive. Just past the 30-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after chip shot field goal, the offense not too happy. 
It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're known to please, and they didn't punch it in for six points. They also have to remember, they did put points up on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has a sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from making the other bounce in the world. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big run there by Gurley. 47 yards. So Gurley gashes the defense. A lot of people say, do you take running backs early first round? Do you want them that high? Surely you're happy you took Todd Gurley that early. Without a doubt, Dr. Seuss. I love the way that that got done by you. But even better, it's fun to watch Todd Gurley run the football. He is electrifying. I want you to know that I did not mean to do that, by the way. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's a really nice play, and able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to speed. He's got to tell his guys up front, great job. And kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the run. And he had nicely kept him to just a one-yard gain. And he dropped it about the 11 after only a yard. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game for the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four <laughs> plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Gone. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they get their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. <laughs> and Terry kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens, and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. What a game for him, Charles. Four touchdowns. Heck, for a lot of guys, that's a good season number. <laughs> You're exactly right. And let's face it, we have to stand up and applaud this one, even though it's supposed to be neutral. Because it's caught inside the 25. And he is going to the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, 75 yards. And the Saints just continue to roll. And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they just went four verts there against cover two, didn't they? They did, and it's really an excellent route versus cover two because the longer it develops, the more stress is put on the safeties because they're the ones back, each with half the field responsibilities. The corners don't retreat very far in cover two. They're closer to the line of scrimmage, so now... You've got four receivers putting pressure on two guys covering. Usually you'll find someone open, and that's exactly what they did there. Made the catch and carried it all the way into the end zone. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on probably the final play of quarter number three. One quarter remains in Super Bowl 53. We'll return with more after.